Hi, and welcome to Smoke Training. In this episode, I'll show you a fast way to edit shots to the timeline matching the beat of a music track. First, we'll add a virtual clip that matches the length of our music, then add cut points in time with the audio, and finally, drop in new shots using the replace function. So we've been supplied with a music track, and the brief is to create a montage edited in time with the music. It is a very fast task to complete with Smoke 2013. Here's our timeline with the music track already added. What we need to do is add a colour source to the timeline that runs the length of the audio. It doesn't matter what type of virtual clip we create here, we'll end up replacing this clip with our own. Pressing F10, we can overwrite this new virtual source down to the timeline. Now just like Final Cut Pro, the keyboard shortcut to add an edit point to a clip is Ctrl V. Start playing the timeline down, now press the Ctrl V shortcut in time with the beat of the audio that you wish to cut to. As you can see, each time we press the shortcut, it adds an edit point to the timeline. All we need to do now is choose a source clip and perform a replace edit into each segment. Move the timeline cursor to park it on the first cut point we added. Now choose the source clip you wish to use. If we press F11 to perform a replace edit, nothing happens. Why is that? Oh, unlike Final Cut Pro, if you step to an edit point in Smoke, instead of it being parked on the first frame of the segment, you are actually parked on the transition. This is clearly represented here in the effects area. As we step to the next edit in the timeline, the transition icon is highlighted, showing a preview of both the outgoing and incoming frames. If I move forward one frame, the display changes to show a preview of the first frame of the segment. So for the replace edit to work successfully, step to the edit, then advance forward a single frame. So very quickly, you can cut your pictures together simply by jumping to the next edit, moving forward one frame, and dropping your selected shot in using a replace edit function. You can even drag the timeline positioner to any location inside the boundaries of the next edit and press the F11 replace function. Remember, the replace edit is a positioner to positioner edit. What that means is that whatever frame you're parked on in the source clip, that frame will be edited down to match the location of the positioner in the timeline. This is perfect for making a specific piece of action match a particular piece of music or sound effect. As you can see, editing to the beat of music in Smoke 2013 is a very straightforward process. That brings to a close this episode of Smoke Training. Thank you for watching. Just a reminder about some of the key points covered in this episode. By editing a virtual clip down to the timeline, we are able to add fake edit points in time with the music. Using the keyboard shortcut Control V to add the edit points on the fly as the music plays down. With the timeline cursor placed over a segment, pressing F11 will replace the timeline segment with the currently selected source clip. Also remember this is pre-release software any features or functions shown here may be implemented differently come the final release. And make sure you share your thoughts at the Autodesk Smoke Forum at the area. You can help improve and refine the software leading up to the final release. Stay tuned for future episodes of Smoke Training that provide you with short, clear tutorials to get you up to speed on the basics, fast.